Hi, my name is Ashish, and in this video, we will see troubleshoot Azure File Sync. So, let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Now you are on the Azure File Sync, and now if you would go to your file share under the storage account, like this is my file share, and if you would see the access settings, and if you would see the access keys. And you can use this key one to map the network drive, right? Now, if you want to create a map drive to the portal, so let's say you are facing difficulties in communicating with this file share. So, like I went on to my uh, file server that I added as a sync. So you can open up the PowerShell ISC and you can go to this file share and you can click on file shares. You can click on the file share and you can click on connect. It will give you this script that you will use to map the drive. I already mapped this drive. You would see. Mm click here you see i have this drive mapped like let's say if i did not have it you can click on disconnect it will be disconnected and you can go here you can add the command here so if you would only run this first line it will test the connection on port 445 for the file share it did not give an error it means that the connection was passed now you will run the rest of the command. It will map the drive. Now if you will go here, here, you will see the drive is mapped. And you can access it as a normal map drive. Right? You can open it, you create new folders. So now when you do it, it means the communication from your registered file server to the Azure file share is working fine. Now you will go and check the file sync. How would you check the file sync? By creating the file. Like I did uh, in the previous video, you create the file locally and it should be replicated. You, would, you should see that file also on the uh, Azure file share as well. So it means that the file sync is also working fine. So my uh, map drive or the connection to the Azure file share is working fine. My file sync is working fine. Now you will create an invalid file. If you would go to the uh, folder and you would uh, see you go here to your local folder. The one that you have registered. D drive. If you create a file. You, if you would open it, this file, invalid file is created. This file will not replicate to as your file share. So if you would open up the this again, click on here. See, this file will not be replicated. You would see that this will not be replicated, right? So if you want to troubleshoot the file synchronization, you can troubleshoot your on-premises server in the Azure portal. So if you would uh, go to your server and you click on PowerShell, I'm sorry, launch it on the file server that is registered to sync with Azure file share. Right, so if you would go to your C program files CD Azure, 
cd storage sync agent now you will run the file sync error reports dot ps1 run it total number of errors is 1 so view the output of the command the, the error description create false cat folder invalid the file name directory name or volume label syntax is incorrect uh, this uh, please remove the character to enable these file to sync right so it it throws an error that, that this is the reason why those that invalid file was not able to sync right now if you want to view the file sync problem in the azure portal go to the portal Now, service, you go to the cat sync service, the source to the storage sync service that we created. Right, you click on here, you click on the server endpoint, which is this. Let me If you click on the properties, on here, you should see file not syncing. So you see, file not syncing, transient one files, click on it. It will also give you the file not sync. This is the run to transient errors. The file or directory name is invalid. It says remediation would be to run this on your server locally, right? Now, if you want to resolve the file sync, now you remove the invalid characters. So you go to the server, right? And I click on view. You remove the invalid characters. So you rename it to valid name dot txt. Now it is valid. You click on here. You now you open up the another browser that is on the you see the valid name file on the storage as well. Right. Now, if you would run that again, errors are still showing, so it, it did not pick up, but you would see that the there was no error found. If you run this again, see, there were no file errors found, right? If you would check the same, when you refresh it, you would see no transient errors. So if I close it, open it again, server endpoint, file not syncing, one file, it will go, but like it went from the server as well. So that is how you troubleshoot. Alright, so I hope this video was also informative for you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.